Hey everybody, how's it going? How you doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's staying safe. It's December 1st, 2020, and it's time for me to start getting into this calendar. And I'm going to try to make this real quick because I'm going to just gonna, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to drink the beers every day uh, as per tradition. I'm going to take the beers out and show them right quick and then I'm going to put them in the fridge and enjoy them on the weekends because I think I'll enjoy them better on the weekends. So <laughs> it's going to be a lot of short videos but at the end of it all I'm going to put it all together and show all the beers and then talk about which beers I like better. Talk about some of them or all of them depending on the time. All right, let's hurry up. December 1st, here, here goes for my very first advent calendar. Gotta be careful not to break into the other ones. So I gotta do this every day. And here's beer number one. And there she be, gingerbread. Holiday ale, there we go. Cool, next one up. Here we go. Aha. Ooh, look at that one. Under the mistletoe, sugar plum cider. <laughs> December 3rd. And this is what we got. Kettle sour field trip. Tangerine. December 4th. Now... Let's see what today's selection is. Boom! Oh, there we go. Ha ha! Propeller Mocha. Nice. Saturday, December 5th. Oh, come on, let go. Here's the next beer. Oh, there we go. Look at that one. Pretty. Sunday, December 6th. See what we got here. There we go. Ha, ah, Odin's Winter Ale. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got today. Aha, uh -huh. ooh, Garrison. There you go. Deja Mu, Milk Stout. There you go. <laughs> hey, it's time for December 8th. Let's have a look. Aha! Ooh! What? A guitar pick? Huh? Roch Star. Whoa, that's different, eh? Smoked Lager. Hey, December 9th. Let's see what we got today. Today. Here goes for another one. Aha! Ooh, Mexican Lager by Good Robot. Diablo, Espienza Diablo. Hey, it's December 10th, and time to look at what we got today. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, look at this, another cider. Uh huh. Bulwark, caramel candy, fresh pressed Annapolis Valley apples, flavored cider. December 11th, and it's time to look at the next beer in line. Ha! Ooh, Tusket Falls. Oh, there you go. Brown Porter with cold brewed coffee. Woke up quick. <laughs> nice. Saturday, December 12th. We're halfway there. Let's see what we got today. Yeah. Oh, boy. Church. Woof. Eight Bells. Bengal Pale Ale. Very nice. Let's see what we got. Aha, uh -huh, Cup of Joe. There you go. Dark Roast Porter. Hey, here comes December 14th. And today it's Chain Yard Cider. Gin Berry. Mm -hmm. December 15th. We're about halfway through the month. Let's have it. Let's have it. See what we got. Balsam Blue. And what shall we have today? Let's see what we got. Mm hmm. Ho oh, ho. Schoolhouse Staff Room Stout. Another stout. There you go. A beer with class. 
December 17th, and there's a snowstorm happening outside tonight. Uh, let's see what we got for today's beer. Uh huh, there you go. Look at that. Grimrose Golden Ale. Maritime Crafted. December 18th. Oh my goodness. Down to the last week, pretty much. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? Just a big 19? Oh, Route 19, okay. Eventide Saison. Saturday, December 19th. We're almost there. Now, what have we got here? Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Another cider. Lake City Cider. Well, it's December 20, 2020. And here we go. Let's open this one up. in there today. Ah, Lund's Mills. There you go. Brute IPA. Or right. getting down to the wire. What have we got? Oh wow. That's a little different. Plum Goose Up Street Light Beer. Huh. There you go. Huh. Well, December 23rd, down to the last few days, and let me show you what I've got. Oops, something by Tata Magooch. Darling, darling, English dark mild. It's the December 23rd, one more day to go. Here we go with this one. Let's see what it is. And this is what we got. Big Spruce 100. There you go, Cape Breton Wild Axe. Or Wild Ale. <laughs> Well, 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 we made it to 24, and I hope this is a good one, since it's the last one. Here we go. Ha ha ha, bingo, what is this? What is this? <laughs> All right, well, Bre Brightwood Brewery, Christmas on Portland Street, Raspberry Porter. Okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to do another clip here after all this, talk about all the beers. Hey everyone, how you doing? We're back and here we are January 4th, 2021. So all of the beers have been drunk or drank <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to go through and give you a quick, uh, quick, uh, quick outcome. So yeah, so we started off with uh, the very first one, Gingerbread. That was decent. That was probably one of the better ones. Um, oh, before I go any further, overall I gotta say this Advent calendar for 2020, um, I wasn't particularly happy with it. <laughs> uh, there wasn't too many really great beers in it, like top-notch beers. I can definitely count them on one hand, on less than one hand. But generally, most of them were decent, and then there were there was a few that weren't weren't very good at all. But I'll go through that and I'll let you know real quick. Uh, the second one, this was this was one of the one of the four ciders that was in there, the Sugar Plum, which was actually probably one of the better ciders. I'm not a big cider fan, but this was not bad. It was pretty. It was fairly decent, I, I would say. Fieldberry, hmm, that was kind of uh, a bit of a sour sort of beer, I guess. Sour, yeah. Well, it does say tangerine sour, so yeah, it was a wasn't a real great sour, but it was one of those mediocre beers, I guess. Now the Mocha, the Propeller Mocha. Oatmeal Stout. Now that was good. That was definitely one of the better ones of the whole, the calendar. I, pre I that was well well made and well well uh, enjoyed. The new Scotland Small Batch Champagne IPA. I actually did like this one quite a bit. It it, it was uh, like sort of light on the hops, but it, you know it had enough flavor to enjoy it, and it uh, it was clean, and crisp, and whatnot. It was it was quite nice. I didn't mind that one. Okay, going over to the Odin's, the Odin's Winter Ale. Now I didn't really, I didn't really particularly like this one. Um, I found it was, <laughs> I found it was kind of like no offense to the brewery, but I, I, I found it kind of like somebody's <clears throat> mediocre home home beer, like home home brew, you know, like a typical home brew sort of flavor in it. I don't know really how to explain it, but. It was, it just wasn't, to me it wasn't great, it wasn't, I haven't haven't had a ton of winter ales, 
but I think this definitely wouldn't be one of the better ones I've had. Sorry to say, but yeah, it was mm, a little a little less than mediocre for me. The Deja Mu now from this is from Garrison. I I didn't I don't I don't I'm not crazy about this particular one. This is a milk stout. It uh, it's probably a little on the heavy side for me, and a little a little, a little too far on the bitter side for me. So I just don't I don't like bitterness in my stout. I think uh, you know bitterness in the flavor should be left for other types of beers, other styles. Anyways, uh, moving on, you got the Roch Star. This is the one that came with two guitar picks. Uh, this is a smoked lager, and this one I actually really enjoyed. I thought this was nice. It had a nice sm smoky aroma, and a nice little bit of a smoky flavor in it, and it was good. It was just a. Uh, uh, you know, it was balanced. The flavors weren't, no flavors weren't too overpowering or anything. I, I, so I did like that one quite a bit. And the next one is the Diablo, which is Mexican style lager from Good Robot. This one was okay. It had a bit of jalapeno in it, like a little bit of spice to it. Um, I wasn't crazy about it, but, you know, it was decent. You know, for what it was, it was one of those uh, decent beers. And then Moving to the next one, we got Bull the Bulwark Candy, Candy, Caramel Candy. This is another cider. This one I did not like. Uh, I don't know whether maybe it was a little old in the can. I, I I'm assuming too after all, after having all of these beers that some of them were probably in the can for a little while before they got added to the calendar. Um, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but anyways, I did not like this one. This one here. Next one woke up quick. The Tusket Falls Brown Porter with vanilla bean, cocoa nibs, and smoked malt flavor. This was good. It was it was decent, but it was a little on the strong side. It was definitely a, definitely a powerful, uh, you know. It didn't I don't know if it woke me up. I can't remember, but it was definitely a very strong, very pungent. Uh, what do you call it? Is it oh porter? Yeah, I was going to call it a stout. <laughs> it's definitely a strong coffee type porter. The next one here is uh, real dazzling to the eyes. The Church Bel Belgo Belgio Belgo Pale Ale. This, what I, from what I can remember, was eh, just kind of an ordinary beer, sort of a regular pale ale with not, you know, just no hefty flavors anywhere. It was decent. Another one of the decent ones. <laughs> then we moved on to the Cup of Joe, which is another coffee one, obviously coffee beans all over it and this here I guess the staining is that's right into the graphics of the can <laughs> I had to double check myself did somebody spill something on it anyways this was decent too by Sober Island this was decent a decent coffee roasted porter I didn't mind it moving on to the ginberry ginberry this is another cider cranberry infused cider this one I I didn't really think much of but, but like I say, I'm not much of a cider fan. I don't go and buy ciders very often, very rarely, and I very rarely drink them. So I did not like that one very much. Balsam Blues by Salt Block Box. Now this was pretty good. Um, I do remember this being, it was, it was uh, unfiltered, so it was cloudy, and it, it was actually pretty good. I remember this being one of the better ones of the calendar. Schoolhouse Staff Room Stout. This is a beer with class. Now this one... Trying to remember, so some of them are a little faded in my memory now, but this one was pretty good too. I believe it was on the lighter side of a stout, so it wasn't really beefy or meaty. <laughs> <clears throat> and then we got the Golden Nail, Maritime Crafted by this is by Grimross. This was mm, to me, it was I guess it was just a typical ale. I mean, what most of us know is just a typical ale with a, cri a little bit of a crisp finish to it. We got this one here, Route 19, Eventide Saison, which was also kind of in the realm of, uh, or in the vicinity of being a, a decent Saison. Nothing extraordinary, but definitely decent enough to enjoy. Almost down to the end of the list. And this was the last of the four ciders. This is the Lake City Cider, Pin Pinot Grigio Sparkling Cider. 9% so it was, a, it was definitely a bit of a strong one. I didn't have high hopes for this but when I poured it up and had it I actually found that it was pretty good. Um, essentially it was 
it had it had a, a sweetness to it, and a, and it had it had mostly sweetness to it with a hint of dryness on the aftertaste, and it was kind of like a it was kind of like sort of like a fifty a fifty fifty of a sweet cider and a, an actual wine infused into it, and it, it was good. It was sparkling. It was like had like a soda sort of uh, a soda pop sort of um, you know feel to it when you were drinking it. And, but I was actually quite surprised that was that was not bad either. Now this one here, Lunds Mills, and you, Brute IPA. This was the only, I believe this was the only IPA in the whole thing. Only one IPA, which was a little, which what where where I was a little disappointed in the calendar because only one IPA in the whole thing. This one was there was something wrong with this one, and I don't know if it was really old. Maybe it was put in January last year or something. But it never had any pressure to it. Even when, even after it was sitting in here for a little while, and then I put it in the fridge, it was squishy like this, like you could, you know. And then when I poured it up, of course, it was. Hmm, it wasn't quite completely flat, but it was almost. It only had a hint of carbonation to it. Anyways, with that being said, I didn't really like it. This particular one was not good because, obviously, it just didn't have its carbonation. It didn't have any freshness, so it was old. If it was fresh, probably would have been better. Plum Goose from Upstreet Light Beer. This was kind of ordinary, I guess, because I can't. I'm trying to remember. How did I enjoy this one? Did I enjoy this one? Nah, it was uh, kind of uh, you know light on the hops. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't great. I mean, it, another one of the you know the mediocre beers. Just trying to be real here. <laughs> from the Tadamush Brewing Company, we got Darlene. Darling English Dark Mild, which I actually, it was a very light beer, 3.6, but I really liked this one. I thought it was great. Um, not sure if it's something that should have been added to a special calendar or not, but eh, I really liked this one. It, it was mild, it was, it was tasty, you know, very light, but yet tasty. <laughs> the Big Spruce 100 Cape Breton Wild Axe. This was good, too. I didn't mind this. This had a bit of a, I think I have a bit of, this was a little bit Belgium-y, I believe. Yeah, because of the, the yeast and whatnot. But I, I didn't mind it. It was decent. Another one of those decent beers and didn't stand out, but. And then we come down to our very last one. Uh, Christmas on Portland Street Raspberry Porter. This one I had high hopes for when I took it, when I brought it out of the case and had it, and, and it headed for the, for the fridge. I had high hopes for this one because Raspberry Porter sounds wonderful. Unfortunately, <laughs> I gotta say, unfortunately, I struggled to get through this one. I I found it was really dank, really, really strong, really more of a heavy uh, porter, more like a stout, more it was more like a strong stout. Uh, I couldn't pick up myself. I couldn't pick up any of the raspberries, and I, I just couldn't. I tried, and I just could not taste any raspberries. And as I drank it, as it warmed up and I drank it, it started getting a bit more bitter and bitter and bitter. And finally, I had to struggle to get through the last few few you know mouthfuls. I'm sorry, but you know, that's the experience I had with that one. So I would say, you know, if I were to pick the best ones, I'd have to go with the gingerbread was actually good, probably because it was fresh, I suppose. Um, this one, this one. Let's see now. I'm gonna push all the ones forward I didn't really care for. I think I like that one. This one definitely, this one definitely. And I think I'm gonna say looking quickly looking them over. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little I'm gonna give a little nod to the believe it or not, I'm gonna put that one in there. <laughs> Which is unusual. I, I'm picking the ciders because they were the two best ciders of the whole thing. So yeah, so <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I mean, those are the ones that I enjoyed the best. I would say probably out of the whole bunch. And a lot of these other ones were just sort of mediocre, sort of decent, drinkable. Not something that I would probably ever buy again. But that would probably be my sixth favorite. Seven, sorry. Seven favorite out of the whole bunch. Well, uh, that's it for the 2020 um, craft beer advent calendar. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody, and uh, take care. We'll see you again real soon. Cheers.